So I'll just share some of the things that, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that I understand the vagus nerve is responsible for. It regulates blood sugar, blood pressure, releases testosterone, releases bile, promotes healthy function of the kidneys, assists in saliva secretion, helps prevent inflammation, which is huge, and it has a role in memory and emotions and also um, sweating, moving the tongue for speech, like you've been mentioning, and keeping the larynx open so we can breathe and basically swallow. So people a lot of times with swallow problems, it might be a vagal nerve problem. And peristalsis, which is, it's a key, the key nerve in the gut brain nerve connection. So what I'm getting at is these are all two-way streets. So to your point, like we can kind of back our way into regulating ourselves and controlling stress by um, maybe approaching it from the gut to go up to the vagus nerve by good bacteria in our diet and getting the junk out of our diet to help that one way and and then, you know, doing horse lips like or the purring from the vocal back down. Into, so it's a two-way thing. There's different ways we can help balance our nervous system by all these different techniques, depending on what organ you're functioning and what, what you're actually doing. Do I have that right? Yeah, absolutely. So um, like I say, mainly the vagus nerve goes up to the brain. I think it's like 80%, something like that goes upward. So oh, it's going okay. to the brain and about 20% goes out from there. Okay. So, yeah, so it's this biofeedback device, great biofeedback device. If you look at the gut, I mean, there's so many conditions that have to do with this altered sense. I mean, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome is like the classic. Do you have IBS D or C? Are you constipated? Are you have diarrhea? What is going on? Well, gosh, it's so amazing when people start getting their parasympathetic nervous system back in line, there's a lot of this that goes away. We need to start getting balanced. How about heart rate? How about blood pressure? High blood pressure. So the vagus nerve X is a break. So people's heart rates that tend to go up over time, oftentimes it's because this break is no longer working. Vagal break. It's no longer slowing the heart rate back down. I mentioned children when they're first born, their sympathetics develop, the dorsal vagal, the ventral vagal is coming online. So as they get older, the heart rate comes back down. This vagal break is getting stronger as they're co regulating. So they're becoming safe with their infant when they're being held, they're being nurtured, they're being cuddled. Yeah, so it's just, it's great. And then again, for this self people, how self help people out there, there's, I can't think of a better way to bring harmony into your life than looking at this polyvagal model and learning routines and actions and behaviors that enhance it to your well-being. 